How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Last time we began book one by taking on the first two levels Pucky, uh, Plucky Past Beginnings already screwing up in episode two and Walleye Tumble Temple. This time we're going to begin by taking on Touchstone Trouble. So this is going to be one of the instances where we are not going to be able to get all of the Super Gems and the Power Star and the Secret Objective all in one go. Well, we can get all the Super Gems in one go, or the Power Star and the Secret Objective in one go. Anyway, so what we want to do is we need to pull the pointer up this way. Move, oh, I screwed up a little bit. All right, well, it looks like I'm getting the Super Gems first. I was going to, uh, I was going to do the Secret Objective first, but you know, I guess it works out this way. All right, let's go ahead and grab the key that is inside here in this very, very purpley checkered board background. All right, we're gonna need to move this to the side so we can go ahead and open the key door and that will allow us to get the uh, first, uh, the third Super Gem, excuse me. Uh, also, you can see the controls right there, move the pointer, or uh, this is the one I was talking about, press plus, or the uh, right stick to center the, uh, the reticle. So we can go ahead and do that, which is very helpful, honestly. Uh, never take that for granted, because sometimes, especially if you're playing with Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con drift, then uh, that would be very bad. All right, let's go ahead and hop in here. Then we're gonna need to raise that up, allowing us to get the final super gem. And by final, I mean second, because I went out of order like a dutz. All right, uh, oh, we're gonna need to, okay, yeah, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Let's go ahead and grab the power star. So you can see that the secret objective is to clear the course in only three touches. Now, hopefully I remember to count my touches as I go, uh, but I could always restart if I need to, which is great and all. Uh, so, one, two, and then just move that down for three. Perfect, that's what I wanted to do before grabbing all the super gems. But then I screwed it up, and also I didn't really remember how it went. But now everything is flooding back to me. Everything is coming on back, and um, I'm remembering a lot of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and pop in with ZR to find the Pixel Toad. This is one of the main differences between the original Let's Play and this Let's Play. Uh, back then, I kind of shoved the Pixel Toads off at the very end. This time I'm going to be completing them, obviously, uh, as I go, uh, rather. Uh, hang on, where where are you, buddy? You're in, you're in an alcove. I know I needed to have you raised up, uh, but where exactly were you? Were you, were you, where, where were you, buddy? I, I think I remember where you are. Uh, let's see. Were you right there? No, I think I, according to my notes, I needed to have this raised up. So it's a matter of, it's a matter of where you are. Where, where are you? Pixel Toad, where? Am I blind? I probably am blind. Uh, let's see. Where, oh where has my Pixel Toad gone? I'm already screwing up on this and this is the first, second episode, the third level. It's set in the alcove, uh... Oh my god, I read my notes wrong. It's right here. That it's My notes said the block needed to be down. Why did I read that as the block needed to be up? Oh my god. I just wasted two minutes doing that, by the way. Alright, well, we did finally collect the Pixel Toad, so now we can move on to the fourth level, Mushroom Mesa. So, much like the first level and a level later on in this book, this is one of the levels available in the demo version on the Switch or the 3DS. So, uh, yeah, pretty exciting. 
All right, let's go ahead and grab that first super gem. And now I also am going to head down this way. Maybe I should just adjust the camera controls. <laughs> grab a super mushroom for an extra 10 coins. In fact, let me go ahead and do that. Uh, press minus. Uh, let's go ahead and invert that and invert that. There we go. All right, changed up. Everything's good now. I think I'm controlling it fine. Yeah, there we go. All right, now that I know how to play the game, let's go ahead and hop up here. Uh, well, rather, ride the elevator up there. We didn't exactly hop because Captain Toad's backpack prevents him from jumping, obviously. All right, so it, it's actually a pretty cool concept, the fact that Toad really can't jump. Like, it's a very... I don't know, I think... Uh, I think it only really works with Toad because Toad wasn't actually the original protagonist for this type of game. In fact, the producer wanted Link to be the protagonist, and then they figured it wasn't going to work, so then Captain Toad ended up in its place, and, well, the rest is pretty much history. At least I, <laughs> I, at least I think I got that mostly right. I don't have those type of notes in front of my face, but uh, I'll make sure to correct myself if I'm mostly wrong, which I assume I am. All right, so the secret objective in this level was to defeat all of the enemies, which I have indeed done, but we're still missing a super gem. So let's go ahead and bring this up and then bring this down because we're going to need to grab the super gem right there. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and raise this up, return this down, bring this up a little bit just so we can hop down on this one and then lift ourselves up to the power star. And there we go, we completed Mushroom Mesa, except for the fact that we have yet to find the Pixel Toad. So let's rectify that right now, and let's go find the little bugger. That old 8-bit bugger, it... <laughs> Why did I even say that? That was so stupid. All right, so the Pixel Toad in Mushroom Mesa is actually a little more obscure than the other ones. So we need to head down here, clear the coin stack, and then you can see him right down here, right behind the coins. Yeah, this guy's trying to be a little trickster, trying to be a little clever with his hiding spot. In fact, a lot of them later on in the game are uh, actually very well hidden, so it might take a little while to find them outside of the fact that I'm a doofus and couldn't find the one in touch tone trouble very easily. All right, so... Now we are on to the next chapter within this book, so to speak, the chase to Pyro Puff Peak. You can see some nice little artwork on the left side of the book. I really like the illustrations in all of the books in this game. It's very, very nice. And come on, you, you already knew if you played Captain Toad before that there's more than one book, even though they try to trick you otherwise. Anyway, let's move on to level five, Double Cherry Palace. All right, so this is the first instance, in this game at least, of using the Double Cherry power-up. And man, the backstory to the Double Cherry, for those who have not heard it, is so hilarious. So, uh, the Double Cherry was obviously introduced in Super Mario 3D World, but it was basically a complete accident, because one of the developers cloned Mario somehow freakishly, and then they were like, oh hey, that's cool, let's just keep that in. So yeah, the Double Cherry came to be a thing just because a developer kind of screwed up. Anyway, we defeated that mole enemy there and uh, we grabbed our first super gem, so that's nice. Actually, I need to uh, guide this toad over here to that P-switch because I'm gonna need both of those toads to hit the switches. All right, you move over there. Now we need to guide this toad all the way up. All right, you go there. You stay there, ni nice and simple. Nice and simple, there we go. Hitting the double P switches will activate the walls in between, but it also allows us to head further uh, down. So we're gonna need to, uh, well this is tricky, because I want them to be equal. Oh, I almost missed some coins. Oh, that would not have been very great. Uh, actually, you can use the pointer much like in the touch screen on the Wii U and 3DS to check and see if there's any hidden coins. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's just go ahead and hop down then. 
So, let's hop down with this toad. And then with this one, we're gonna need to hop down the other side. So the main gimmick of this level is to basically just do things in tandem together. This is actually probably a very good stage for the actual co-op mode they introduced in the update for this game, the first update for this game I should say. Uh, so yeah, co-op mode is probably a lot better at least for this stage. Alright, grab the second super gem. We're gonna hop down here and we're gonna need to press that button there. And now we're gonna need to go hunting for that last super gem. So what we need is for you to go over here, and that was a lot easier than I thought. All right, well, uh, all in a day's work, I guess, huh, Captain Toad? But yeah, that actually was way easier than it probably should have been. All right, let's go ahead and hop down on this Shy Guy here. Nice blue Shy Guy. I really like the colors of the Shy Guys in this game. And I believe... Oh, did I miss some coins? Oh, I think I missed some coins. Oh no, please don't tell me I missed some coins, because having to do a level over again by pure accident is not the greatest. Oh, I hope I, I hope I don't need to do this level again. Please tell me I don't need to do it again. Oh, I need to do the level again, because once you reach the ending with both toads, then you have access to the power star. Oh boy, uh, where? Where did I miss those coins, I wonder? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna grab the power star, then I'm gonna return. I bet you anything there were some I still missed up here anyway. Alright, I'll be back after I collect the power star. By the way, you do get 10 coins for, uh, clearing the course with a double cherry clone. Here's a quick tip! You can zoom in or out while exploring! Thanks game, I already got that covered! For details, please take a look at the control manual by pressing minus while playing a course. As much as I hate to admit this, I did actually forget about some coins at the very tippy top of the palace. I never want to experience that again. Anyway, we brought the... Uh, Clone Cherry to the Power Star, giving us plus 10 coins, which indeed gives us the Collect 70 Coins objective fully completed. Before we end off this episode though, we need to go ahead and find the Pixel Toad. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't think I can actually find Pixel Toad until I go through a majority of this level again. So, I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because I do believe I need to hit the P switch to head down to the next floor, which is very ridiculous, but it's required, so it's a must. All right, with the P switches, Hit them, there we go. All we need to do is bring one toad down to the ground floor and we will be A-OK, -okay, although both of them are pretty much required. All right, bring them down. And now I still need to go down because otherwise I can't scroll the camera even further. <laughs> okay, well, this is a little tedious. Let's go ahead and hit the P-switch again. Experiencing a lot of deja vu considering I failed quite a couple times in grabbing uh, the... Uh, hidden objective there. There we go. I see you, little pixel toad buddy, jumping up and down inside the window. All right, we grabbed the pixel toad, and that means Double Cherry Palace is fully complete, and I never want to play this again. Next time on Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, we hop in to one of the worst levels in the game, Shy Guy Heights. For now, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.